Surfactants are compounds that lower the surface tension between two liquids or between a liquid and a solid. Surfactants may act as detergents, wetting agents, emulsifiers, foaming agents, and dispersants. Etymology and definition The term surfactant surfactants is a blend of surface active agents. In Index Medicus and the United States National Library of Medicine, Surfactant surfactants is reserved for the meaning pulmonary surfactant. For the more general meaning, surface active agent S is the heading. Composition and structure, surfactants are usually organic compounds that are amphiphilic, meaning they contain both hydrophobic groups and hyzophilic groups. Therefore, a surfactant contains both a water-insoluble component and a water-soluble component. Surfactants will diffuse in water and adsorb at interfaces between air and water or at the interface between oil and water, in the case where water is mixed with oil. The water-insoluble hydrophobic group may extend out of the bulk water phase, into the air or into the oil phase, while the water-soluble head group remains in the water phase. World production of surfactants is estimated at 15 ton Y, of which about half are soaps. Other surfactants produced on a particularly large scale are linear alkyl benzene sulfonates, lignin sulfonates, fatty alcohol ethoxylates, and alkyl phenol ethoxylates. Structure of surfactant phases in water In the bulk aqueous phase, surfactants form aggregates, such as missiles, where the hydrophobic tails form the core of the aggregate and the hydrophilic heads are in contact with the surrounding liquid. Other types of aggregates such as spherical or cylindrical missiles or bilayers can be formed. The shape of the aggregates depends on the chemical structure of the surfactants, namely the balance and size between hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail. A measure of this is the HLB, hydrophilic lipopilic balance. Surfactants reduce the surface tension of water by adsorbing of the liquid air interface. The relation that links the surface tension and the surface excess is known as the Gibbs isotherm. Dynamics of surfactants at interfaces The dynamics of adsorption of surfactants is of great importance for practical applications such as foaming, emulsifying or coating processes, where bubbles or drops are rapidly generated and need to be stabilized. The dynamics of adsorption depends on the diffusion coefficient of the surfactants. Indeed, as the interface is created, the adsorption is limited by the diffusion of the surfactants to the interface. In some cases, there exists an energetic barrier to adsorption or desorption of the surfactants. If such a barrier limits adsorption rate, the dynamics is said to be a eurokinetically limited. Such energy barrier can be due to steric or electrostatic repulsions. The surface rheology of surfactant layers including the elasticity and viscosity of the surfactant layers plays a very important role in foam or emulsion stability. Characterization of interfaces and surfactant layers, interfacial and surface tension can be characterized by classical methods such as the pendant or spinning drop method. Dynamic surface tensions, that is surface tension as a function of time, can be obtained by the maximum bubble pressure apparatus. The structure of surfactant layers can be studied by ellipsometry or X-ray reflectivity. Surface rheology can be characterized by the oscillating drop method or shear surface rheometers such as double cone, double ring or magnetic rod shear surface rheometer. Detergents in biochemistry and biotechnology In solution, detergents help solubilize a variety of chemical species by dissociating aggregates and unfolding proteins. Popular surfactants in the biochemistry laboratory are SDS and CTAB. Detergents are key reagents to extract protein by lysis of the cells and tissues, they disorganize the membrane's lipidic bilayer, and solubilize proteins. Milder detergents such as octyl thioglucoside, octyl glucoside or dodecyl maltoside are used to solubilize membrane proteins such as enzymes and receptors without denaturing them. Non-solubilized material is harvested by centrifugation or other means. For electrophoresis, for example, proteins are classically treated with SDS to denature the native tertiary and quaternary structures, allowing the separation of proteins according to their molecular weight. Detergents have also been used to decellularize organs. 
This process maintains a matrix of proteins that preserves the structure of the organ and often the microvascular network. The process has been successfully used to prepare organs such as the liver and heart for transplant in rats. Pulmonary surfactants are also naturally secreted by type 2 cells of the lung alveoli in mammals. Classification of surfactants The tail of most surfactants are fairly similar, consisting of a hydrocarbon chain, which can be branch, linear, or aromatic. Fluorosurfactants have fluorocarbon chains. Silicsan surfactants have silicsan chains. Many important surfactants include a polyether chain terminating in a highly polar anionic group. The polyether groups often comprise ethoxylated sequences inserted to increase the hydrophilic character of a surfactant. Polypropylene oxides conversely, may be inserted to increase the lyopapillic character of a surfactant. Surfactant molecules have either one tail or two. Those with two tails are said to be double chained. Most commonly, Surfactants are classified according to polar head group. A non-ionic surfactant has no charge groups in its head. The head of an ionic surfactant carries a net charge. If the charge is negative, the surfactant is more specifically called anionic. If the charge is positive, it is called cationic. If a surfactant contains a head with two oppositely charged groups, it is termed switterionic. Commonly encountered surfactants of each type include, anionic, sulfate, sulfonate, and phosphate esters. Anionic surfactants contain anionic functional groups at their head, such as sulfate, sulfonate, phosphate, and carboxylates. Prominent orchal sulfates include ammonium laurel sulfate, sodium laurel sulfate and the related orchal ether sulfate sodium laureth sulfate, also known as sodium laurel ether sulfate and sodium myrith sulfate. Docusates, diactyl sodium sulfoxyxanate, perfluoructanesulfonate, perfluorobutanesulfonate, linear orchal benzene sulfonates. These include orchal aryl ether phosphates and the orchal ether phosphate, carboxylates, these are the most common surfactants and comprise the orchal carboxylates, such as sodium stearate. More specialized species include sodium laurel sarcosinate and carboxylate based fluorosurfactants such as perfluorononanote, perfluoructanote. Cationic head groups, pH dependent primary, secondary, or tertiary amines, primary and secondary amines become positively charged at pH less than 10. Bordwell pKa table. Retrieved May 11, 2014, a octanidine dihydrochloride. Permanently charged quaternary ammonium cation, orchal trimethyl ammonium salts, cetyl trimethyl ammonium bromide aka hexadcyl trimethyl ammonium bromide, cetyl trimethyl ammonium chloride, cetylpridinium chloride, benzalkonium chloride, benzophonium chloride, 5 bromo 5 nitro 1, 3 dioxin, dimethyl dioctadesilaminum chloride, cetrimonium bromide. Dioctadesildimethylaminum bromide. Switterionic surfactants. Switterionic surfactants have both cationic and anionic centers attached to the same molecule. The cationic part is based on primary, secondary, or tertiary amines or quaternary ammonium cations. The anionic part can be more variable and include sulfonates, as in methylammonia minus one propanesulfonate. Other anionic groups are sultanes illustrated by cocamidopropyl hydroxyzoltane. Betanes, for example, cocamidopropyl betane. Phosphates, lecithin, no ionic surfactant, many long chain alcohols exhibit some surfactant properties. Prominent among these are the fatty alcohols, cetyl alcohol, steryl alcohol, and cetosterol alcohol, and oleal alcohol. Polyoxyethylene glycol orchal ethers, CH3 a euro, CH2, 10 a euro 16 a euro, OC2 hours 4, 1 a euro 25 a euro OH, octaethylene glycol monododesyl ether, pentaethylene glycol monododesyl ether, polyoxypropylene glycol orchal ethers, CH3 a euro, CH2, 10 a euro 16 a euro, OC3 hours 6, 1 a euro 25 a euro OH, glucoside orchal ethers, CH3 a euro, CH2, 
10 a euro 16 a euro, O glucoside, 1 a euro 3 a euro OH, diesel glucoside, laurel glucoside, octyl glucoside, polyoxyethylene glycol octyl phenol ethers, C8H17 a euro, C6H4, a euro, OC2 hours 4, 1 a euro 25 a euro OH, Triton X100. Polyoxyethylene glycol orchid phenol ethers, C9H19 a euro, C6H4, a euro, OC2 hours 4, 1 a euro 25 a euro OH, non oxynol 9. Glycerol orchid esters, glycerol laurate. Polyoxyethylene glycol sorbitan orchid esters, polysorbate, sorbitan orchid esters, spans, cocomide MEA, cocomide DEA, dodecyl dimethylamine oxide. Block copolymers of polyethylene glycol and polypropylene glycol, poloxamers, polyethoxylated taloam. According to the composition of their counter ion, in the case of ionic surfactants, the counter ion can be monatomic slash inorganic, cations metal, sir alkali metal, alkaline earth metal, transition metal, anions, halides chloride, bromide, iodide. Polyatomic slash organic, cations ammonium, Pyridinium, trithenolamine, anions, tosyls, trifluoromethanesulfonides, methyl sulfate. Current market and forecast The annual global production of surfactants was 13 million tons in 2008, and the annual turnover reached 24.33 billion US dollars in 2009, nearly 2% up from the previous year. The market is expected to experience growth in the order of 2.8% annually to 2012 and by 3.5 a euro 4% thereafter. Specialists expect the global surfactant market to generate revenues of more than 41 billion US dollars in 2018 AA euro translating to an average annual growth of 4.5%. Health and environmental controversy. Surfactants are routinely deposited in numerous ways on land and into water systems whether as part of an intended process or as industrial and household waste. Some of them are known to be toxic to animals, ecosystems, and humans, and can increase the diffusion of other environmental contaminants. As a result, there are proposed or voluntary restrictions on the use of some surfactants. For example, PFOS is a persistent organic pollutant as judged by the Stockholm Convention. Additionally, PFOA has been subject to a voluntary agreement by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and eight chemical companies to reduce and eliminate emissions of the chemical and its precursors. The two major surfactants used in the year 2000 were linear orchid benzene sulfonates and the orchid phenol ethoxylates. They break down in the aerobic conditions found in sewage treatment plants and in soil to the metabolite non phenol, which is thought to be an endocrine disruptor. Ordinary dishwashing detergent, for example, will promote water penetration in soil, but the effect would last only a few days. Commercial soil wetting agents will continue to work for a considerable period, but they will eventually be degraded by soil microorganisms. Some can, however, interfere with the life cycles of some aquatic organisms, so care should be taken to prevent runoff of these products into streams, and excess product should not be washed down. Anionic surfactants can be found in soils as the result of sludge application, wastewater irrigation, and remediation processes. Relatively high concentrations of surfactants together with multimetals can represent an environmental risk. At low concentrations, surfactant application is unlikely to have a significant effect on trace metal mobility. Biosurfactants Biosurfactants are surface active substances synthesized by living cells. Interest in microbial surfactants has been steadily increasing in recent years due to their diversity, environmentally friendly nature, possibility of large scale production, selectivity, performance under extreme conditions, and potential applications in environmental protection. Few of the popular examples of microbial biosurfactants include emulsin produced by Acentobacter calcoceticus, sophorolipids produced by several yeasts belonging to Candida and Starmella clade, and rhamnolipid produced by Pseudomonas aeruginosa, etc. Biosurfactants enhance the emulsification of hydrocarbons, 
have the potential to solubilize hydrocarbon contaminants and increase their availability for microbial degradation. The use of chemicals for the treatment of a hydrocarbon polluted site may contaminate the environment with their byproducts, whereas biological treatment may efficiently destroy pollutants, while being biodegradable themselves. Hence, Biosurfactant producing microorganisms may play an important role in the accelerated bemediation of hydrocarbon contaminated sites. These compounds can also be used in enhanced oil recovery and may be considered for other potential applications in environmental protection. Other applications including herbicides and pesticides formulations, detergents, healthcare and cosmetics, pulp and paper, coal, textiles, ceramic processing and food industries, uranium ore processing, and mechanical dewatering of peat. Several microorganisms are known to synthesize surface active agents. Most of them are bacteria and yeasts. When grown on hydrocarbon substrate as the carbon source, these microorganisms synthesize a wide range of chemicals with surface activity, such as glycolipid, phospholipid, and others. These chemicals are synthesized to emulsify the hydrocarbon substrate and facilitate its transport into the cells. In some bacterial species such as Pseudomonas aeruginosa, biosurfactants are also involved in a group motility behavior called swarming motility. Safety and environmental risks Most anionic and non ionic surfactants are non toxic, having LD50 comparable to sodium chloride. The situation for cationic surfactants is more diverse. Dialkyl dimethyl ammonium chlorides have very low LD50s, but alkyl benzyl dimethyl ammonium chloride has an LD50 of 0.35 g per kilogram. Prolonged exposure of skin to surfactants can cause chafing because surfactants disrupts the lipid coating that protects skin cells. Biosurfactants and deep weight horizon. The use of biosurfactants as a way to remove petroleum from contaminated sites has been studied and found to be safe and effective in the removal of petroleum products from soil. Biosurfactants were not used by BP after the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. However, unprecedented amounts of Corexit were sprayed directly into the ocean at the leak and on the seawater's surface, the theory being that the surfactants isolate droplets of oil making it easier for petroleum-consuming microbes to digest the oil. Applications Surfactants play an important role as cleaning, wetting, dispersing, emulsifying, foaming and anti-foaming agents in many practical applications and products, including detergents, fabric softeners, emulsions, paints, adhesives, inks, anti-fogs, ski waxes, snowboard wax, dunking of recycled papers in flotation, washing and enzymatic processes, laxatives, agrochemical formulations, herbicides, insecticides. Quantum dots In order to manipulate growth and assembly of the dots, reactions on their surface, electrical properties, etc., it is important to understand how surfactants arrange on the surface of the quantum dots, biocides, cosmetics, shampoos, hair conditioners, toothpastes, spermicides, firefighting, pipelines, liquid drag reducing agent, alkali surfactant polymers, ferrofluids, leak detectors, see also. Anti-fog, cleavable detergent, emulsion, MBASSA, an assay that indicates anionic surfactants in water with a bluing reaction. Niosum, oil dispersants, pulmonary surfactant, surfactants in paint, references. External links. Surfactant films on ocean surface implicated in global warming.